It's been a few days since Windows 10 uh, finally came out and as is sort of customary with new operating systems it is necessary for me to test on my old Packard Bell Pentium 4 machine. This has an Intel Pentium 4 HT running at 3 gigahertz. I think it's a 530J and an AMD Radeon HD 5570 graphics card. So in effect we've kind of got two well, we've got two threads in effect and a reasonably powerful graphics card. Also there's a 320 gig IDE hard drive which is uh, nicely partitioned. So that should be able to just give me the ability to install the Windows 10 alongside the current Windows 8 which is running on this computer. So I already have the Windows 10 Enterprise copied onto this 4 gig memory stick using Rufus. And then it's just really a case of plugging the memory stick in, turning the computer on and changing the bootloader, um, the boot order, which I shall do now. So this is what the BIOS setup looks like on this computer and we can just do boot. And then you've just got to change the hard disk priority to be the memory stick. So there we go. Then it's just a case of pressing escape and then save changes and exit. And then we should be rumble. So we go pressing the key to boot from USB. So then here we are at the installation dialog box. It's already worked out that it's English United Kingdom, so I can pretty much just press next and then install now. Sorry about the flicker, I'll just try and drop the shutter speed down a little bit. So there you see the partition setup that I have and I'm just installing it straight onto the 28.2GB uh, partition there which used to house Ubuntu. And then it's just really a case of waiting. I must admit the installation has been really really fast. So it's already at the rebooting phase but it has been really really fast. I mean, what, once I got to the actual sort of setup window, it was done in a few minutes, really. And don't forget, this is a Pentium 4 based machine. But um, the bootloader is going to be kind of. Oh, it's just going straight into Windows 10. Fair enough. Yeah, and within literally maybe 10 minutes, setup is already beginning to sort of approach completion, which is. Very nice. License agree. Well, express settings time. And of course, it is deciding to install updates. The only reason I sigh is because it's 1.40 in the morning. And as this is a Windows 10 Enterprise copy option of a conventional domain or an Azure domain, although my local domain here is just a standard server 2008 R2 domain. So I'm obviously going to be choosing the second option rather than the Azure option. So it is now 1.53 in the morning and I've got Windows 10 fully up and running. So we can already see from the uh, bar there that we have network connectivity so the network card must be working fine. It's also outputting at 1024 by 768 at what looks like 32 bit colour. I think it's fair to assume that the AMD HD5570 is working fine. So um, first things first, it doesn't appear that it has actually installed the graphics card because you can see it's just saying Microsoft Basics Display Adapter. It also doesn't appear to have liked the wireless card, although the wired Ethernet is definitely working as you can see down there. Um, although currently the machine is, does seem to be installing some update or something, so I might see that the graphics adapter does suddenly become functional. So I've got wind, I've had Windows 10 running on this machine for a short while now, and I must say that in general it is coming through as being quite responsive. So here's what it looks like inside Task Manager at the moment, and we can see that. Um, Memory use is quite low, roughly what it was with Windows 8. The CPU utilisation is generally staying quite slow as well. Um, 
and yeah, it is it is working very much like Windows 8 did, which is definitely no bad sign at all. In terms of boot up time, it really um, it's sort of again very much like Windows 8.1 was. I mean, it it doesn't take it very long to get to log on screen. There isn't you know that much in the way of this kind of loading thing. You know, it's all it is all pretty good going. Obviously, compared to an SSD based system. It will seem to be quite slow because they're pretty much immediate. Also, this doesn't have UEFI, so obviously getting all the bias initialization will uh, make things a little bit slower. But in general, I have been pretty impressed with it, so as you see there. Um, in general, I mean, load on the... I mean, the CPU hasn't been any more noisy. I mean, obviously, this depends on four, so power management is quite a bit more limited than, say, with um, other chips. By default, though, it appears to have um, set up not to display list of operating systems, so it just boots straight to Windows 10. And, I mean, that kind of explains why Windows 10 is just... I mean, Windows 8 is just... It doesn't give me the option to boot into it. 